Yes? Yeah. Okay. What I've discovered is that when I write in pencil, it's difficult to see on the document camera. So when you see me writing in my purple pen, that's when you need to be using pencil. Get rid of your gum. Yes. Go. Okay. So we are starting off by completing the title of this top left part. Proportional relationships in tables. Mm. Again, this is being recorded, so I need side conversations and comments off. You need to stay with me as we're going. And when you see me writing in this pen, you are using a pencil. This is one of the rare times we're going to use red, and I'm aware many of you are sharing it. So please open up the red and be ready to share. Please notice at the top of this table, we're looking at cups of rice. And we're going to finish this statement down here. The cups of rice, and that's in red. Underline cups of rice and write the word rice in red. Is proportional. I'm sorry, this is, you cannot use orange. We're using orange for a lot of things. And now I'm making comments on our video that we don't need to make because these things should have been taken care of before we started. The cups of rice is proportional and proportional should be in orange. To the number in blue of people. I'd like you to look closely at that table. What is happening from the cups of rice to the number of people? What pattern do you see? What is happening between these numbers? And yes, with your pencil, you should be making these arrows. What's happening with those numbers? Jonathan? They're getting multiplied by three. So using your pencil, we're gonna start this sentence here. When we multiply across the table, we use the, in, in green, unit rate. or constant of proportionality. proportionality. Let's go back up to that table and list some things that we can see happening. Using your pencils, so all pens are closed right now. What do we call the first column in this table with a variable? And this column is? And we said the rule that was happening in between this to this is three times x. We're gonna come down to the very bottom where it says this can be written as an algebraic expression or equation and I would like you to have the blue pen ready. Thinking back to our flow cab clown video, what is our equation? Y, I heard somebody just say it, Y equals? Well, the rule that we're working with is 3X, but the overall rule is KX, right? And we'll come back to writing the rule for our table. But overall, we can write this as an algebraic equation as y equals kx, or do you guys remember the division version of it? y divided by x 
equals k. Oh, yeah. And then open up your orange. What have we been using the orange for over and over here? So if I've got k here, that is the constant of proportionality. I'm going to zoom out a little bit and we're going to go back to that table and we're going to use blue pen and orange pen and we're going to do what Jonathan was suggesting earlier and that's take the rule from this table and put it in this form. Y is equal to 3 times X. Or the other version of this would be y divided by x is equal to 3. What I put in orange is our constant of proportionality for this situation, true? Mm -hmm. And if you look at the numbers in the table that we have set are x and y, if I say 3 times 1 equals y, does 3 times 1 equal 3? Yeah, yeah. Does 3 times 2 equal 6? Yeah. Does 3 times 10 equal 30? Yeah. But then the reverse is also true. If I take 45 divided by 15, I get 3. 3. 30 divided by 10 gives me 3. 3. three y divided by x is giving us the constant, which in this case is 3. You guys with me? Yeah. Does this feel like a summary of what we've done so far? Yeah. Let's look at the table on the top of the next page. This is just a reminder that in tables we have the x here and the y, y here, and that that is our input, and this is our output. What do I mean by that? We just said over here, if I input 2 for this x, 2 times 3 is my input, and my output is what it equals, which is 6. But tables aren't always written this way. And if you think to what we've been doing with our stations the last few days, sometimes tables are written going left to right instead of up and down, true? Mm -hmm. And what did we find was on top x or y? x and then there is the y. Let's put in some numbers from our table on the left side of our page. I have 1 and 3, 3 and 9, 10 and 30. Let's give us another number that's not in the table. What if I said 5? What would our output be? So I feel like as we're ready to move on from this unit, you guys have learned a lot of important things that we're going to use. And honestly, my algebra students use this kind of information all the time. Let's capture something else we all know, and you guys learned this in the chorus from the proportionality video from Flocabulary. Graphs of proportional relationships have two things that's true about them. One of them is what kind of line do we have? Straight line. Straight line. What's the other true things about graphs of proportional relationships? They go through the origin. Can't you like hear the song lyrics in your head? Graphs of propor proportional relationships have straight through lines that go through the origin every time. time.
We're going to make a graph. I'm putting zero here in the corner because it is what? That's my origin. Let's label it. We are taking some notes on what we have learned and we want to keep track of some of the information we've learned. Zero, zero in the corner is my origin, right? Yes. Because it's zero, zero and there's only a little bit of space, is it okay to put a zero and have it be for both sides? Next, we want to label our x-axis and our y-axis. Where does my x go? Bottom. Bottom. It goes across. Where does my y-axis? Up. Up and down. Again, I always think of this, I just visualize the letter. X's cross in the middle, they go across. So the X goes across. The Y, when I make it, it hangs down, up and down, which goes like this here, up and down, yes? What is the labels from our table over there for X? Okay, this is the last time we're using the red pen and I recognize that we're sharing. So before we write in red, let's write in blue. What's our Y axis? number of people and our x in red is cups of rice I'm doing my cups by one, two, three because in our table they're really going up by one, two, three, aren't they? Mm -hmm. I could do ten. I don't need to. We're going to get a straight line going through the origin, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. We don't have to have everything on it because we know the line keeps going on. I went. Okay, fine. I'll put a ten on there if it makes you all happy. Yay! What about fifteen? Um, I don't think I have room. But can I get my number of people to go up by what number should we count up by? Three. I think we should go up by threes also because that's what the number of cups of rice gets us. And then can I label my cups of rice? If I go up from my 10, it looks like my 30 is going to be right about here. My graph's not perfect, but it gives the idea. That's why I use pencil instead of my pen for my dots. I knew I'd have mistakes. It's kind of hard to graph these without graph paper, right? To, to get the nice straight lines. Yeah. But it's for notes. We're just trying to get some an idea here. More hard. Honestly, mine goes through the origin because I put my ruler in the origin and I just tried to connect as much as I could. Okay, so let me back out and show the whole thing. This is our notes. Does it tend to capture everything we've been talking about in these units? We have the table, we have the equation, we have vocabulary in here, we have our X and Y that shows on our graph, it shows in our table in two ways, our X and Y shows in our equation. Who's feeling like you're starting to learn some good algebra here? 
It is algebra, yeah. So what we're going to do to finish up is we're going to put our names on these, and I'm going to keep them till Monday when we will be putting them in a notebook.